Those under the microscope following the phone hacking scandal continue to stack up. A near 170-year-old paper removed from the news agents' shelves. The Prime Minister facing scrutiny over his recruitment policy. Chairman and company execs questioned over their suitability to run and own media organisations. And the most senior police officers in the country facing MPs. Questions as to why the Met is now sifting thousands of documents in evidence following allegations of phone hacking. The news of the world appears to have failed to cooperate in the way that we now know they should have with relevant police inquiries up until January this year. They have only recently supplied information and evidence that would clearly have had a significant impact on the decisions that I took in 2009 had it been provided to us then. Assistant Commissioner John Yates giving his take even before the questioning begun. The decision in 2009 not to reopen an investigation into the news of the world, he said, was regrettable in hindsight. Allegations that police were involved in hacking will form part of a new investigation called Operation Wheating. But in 2009, Mr Yates said there was no evidence to fear police involvement. But as far as I was concerned from July 2009 and even July 2005-06, this affected two people. This affected a rogue reporter. That was what we honestly believed to be the case. Mr Yates told the Home Affairs Committee that he believed that his phone had been hacked around six years ago. He also said he was not targeted by the news of the world over his private life. Mr Yates's decision not to reopen the case has been called laughable by Lord Ashdown, who is not a committee member. But the Assistant Commissioner said he would not be resigning. With more revelations hitting the headlines, he is likely to face little pressure to go.